Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. Today I'm going to talk about something that I normally don't really like to talk about, but it's going to be my top five of the 2021 Formula One season. It's always very difficult to pick up a top five because obviously it's very hard to compare someone with a Haas and someone with a Red Bull or Mercedes, you know, driver wise. I'm saying that there's a couple of, well, at least one uh, in my top five that comes out with, uh, with a car that was definitely not one of the best, but has done a, an incredible season. So um, yeah, if I start in, uh, in fifth position, I would, um, not necessarily in order, but I would Carlos Sainz Jr. First year with Ferrari next to Charles Leclerc. He has surprised me in a very good way. He's been consistent, he's been fast, has been really good next to Charles, has been able to claim points, uh, have some good fights, a good surprise. Uh, I was not expecting Carlos to be that good, but I was really good with the new uh, car in 2022. Let's see how it goes. And I guess Charles is gonna, you know, be there as well. So Ferrari could be on for something cool in 2022. In fourth position, I would put London Norris. He hasn't won a race but he was very close a couple of times. Felt like Russia should have been his. Monza, he was behind Daniel Ricciardo, his teammate, and they really played the, the McLaren game being first and second, but you could tell he was faster. He's been he's been raising his game year after year, and I think this year, you know, next to Daniel Ricciardo, a big value Formula One, he's been, he's been stronger and very fast. He is definitely my top four of the drivers, Lando. I think McLaren could be a really good car in 2022, so keep an eye for him. And then third, I would put George Russell with the Williams. George has been doing a really good season with Spa qualifying. Let's not talk about the race, but qualifying in Spa from Cochon second on the grid. Obviously, Williams was very strong that weekend. Latifi qualifying well as well, but he was there and he had another few really good races through the year. So that's been very impressive. Can't wait to see him with, with Mercedes in 2022. That could be something. And then first and second, I'm actually gonna get, say first draw. It's Max and Lewis, Max Verstappen, Lewis Hamilton. What a year they gave us. What a fight from both guys in a different way. I think uh, Max had a strong car at the beginning, really managed to score pole position, do his driving, go at the front, lead the race, push really hard. Hard luck in Baku and Hungary, where he lost a fair bit of points. Lewis, on the other hand, with the Mercedes that was a little bit struggling compared to the year before, has been uh, raising his game with Mercedes so that's all year long and, and what the end of the season they, they had. Obviously with the end in Abu Dhabi that we all know could have gone either way really. But yes, I think those two were definitely giving us an incredible fight, uh, an incredible show. I think we're on in 2022 for the same thing. So yeah, I think we are ready for 2022. As I say, new rules. I'm gonna talk about it in a later video. But for now, don't forget to like or subscribe or leave me a message and I'll see you very soon. Thank you. Yeah.